All right, so first thing we got to do is the muster drill. Come over here. We're going to give you a little demonstration. Scan your room key, and then you got to watch the video. Did you complete your safety video? Uh, not yet. Okay, do you not work with your life jacket? Yes. You know the emergency yes. Yes. In your emergency position. In a real emergency, just come here and say hello. <laughs> and remember 911 if you have a heart attack. Two slices of pepperoni, please. Uh, <laughs> oh, that'll do it. Thank you.
All right. There is the Carnival Dream. She is in port with us today. Hopefully it's not too windy up here. But we are up here on the helicopter deck. Just to take a look at the dream real quick. Tiffany's already relaxing. But we're going to go this way and see if we can't get out of this wind a little bit. Yes. All right. Of course, it does say Sunday right there. That's probably one of my favorite things on Royal Caribbean. So what do you think of that, baby? Good spot to read a book. Nice spot to sit down and read a book?
All right, it is almost dinner time, and we are going to Sabor tonight for dinner. Thought we'd come by here real quickly, take a look at the menu. So what do you think, baby? Sorry. <laughs> what do you think? All right. So you get some chips, some pico, some fresh guacamole. As you can see, Tiffany is already completely enjoying that. All right, so we have just finished dinner in Sabor. That was awesome. Yeah, it was really, really, really good. Now, I started to take pictures of dinner. I really did. And then the food kept coming and it was going in my mouth. And I was three courses in before I remembered to take any more pictures. <laughs> so sorry about that. You'll get a nice picture of the appetizer. Yeah, you, I got a nice picture of the appetizer for you guys. So you're just going to have to kind of take my word that it was really, really delicious. Yes. It, it was good. Highly, highly recommended it. And, you know, they walk around on the first day asking if you want to go to specialty restaurants. They have little tables set up. And we were planning on trying it anyway. So we went ahead and stopped. They set us up, got us to reservation. And it was buy one, get one free. So, I mean, basically it was half off. Yeah, and that's thirty nine ninety nine per person normally. Yeah, that's what they charged us. And worth every penny, it was delicious. But now we're up here in the main theater. And we have a comedy show. Should start here in about 20 minutes or so. You know, shows are on board the ships, though. Probably can't do any recording, but we'll, we'll we'll see what they say once the show gets ready to start. But we're going to do the comedy show, then there's a game show, and we'll, we'll kind of play it from there. It's been a long day already. Yes. And after eating so much good food, <laughs> my pillow is calling me ever so slightly. Yes. So, but let's check out some comedy. Awesome. There's someone here who's here. Oh, that's okay. Let me see. Threats for everybody. Canadian cruise director. Yes. How you guys doing today? Everybody moved in, got your stuff all situated yeah. to figure out your neighborhood. <laughs> we know your neighbors. I think we need to it's not perfect. All right, so we're playing majority rules. It's a game we're playing here in the Star Lounge. I'm sure y'all seen already. Tiffany has to run from way back here all the way up to the front of the stage. You gotta write your answer down and you gotta run it up there so they can count all the answers. So Tiffany's definitely getting all her steps in. Heaven is missing an angel. Four groups. But it's not the majority. The majority answer, the groups who gonna get the point is dun, 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 dun.
All right, so we are down here in the Star Lounge for dance fitness. Tiffany's going to do dance fitness. I'm fitness to sit in this chair and watch. But they had to move it here into the Star Lounge. It was supposed to be out up on deck 13, but they're doing some maintenance up there. So it's going to be inside. You ready to dance fitness? Yeah. Okay. You ready to play some Harry Potter trivia? Yes. Yeah. I keep saying I'm going to reread the books and I never do. Nope. And you guys can see they are doing the trivia here in the schooner bar and they, it is crowded. Trivia has been really popular today. By what means of transportation does Harry travel from the Weasley home to Nocturne Alley? I will repeat, in Harry Potter and Chamber of Secrets, by what means of transportation does Harry travel from the Weasley home to Nocturne Alley? All right, so we have come into the room tonight and we have our first towel animal of the cruise. So there he is. Woo, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Carson Robinette. I'm originally from San Francisco, California. And I play, woo, there we go. <laughs> and I play Bobby C. Hello everybody, my name is Kate and I'm from a little country in the UK called Wales. And I play Flo Monero in Saturday Night TV. 
<laughs> hey folks, I'm Tig, I'm from London in the UK, and I play Frank Jr. in Saturday Night Fever. Hey, I'm Alicia, I'm from Orlando, Florida, and I play Annette in Saturday Night Fever. And as I said, my name is Jason, I play Frank Sr. in DJ Monty in Saturday Night Fever. And a fun fact about me, I'm from a little town you might have heard of called Abilene, Texas! Yeah? Couple of friends in the house? Good. I like to hear it. I used to feel so uninspired Adam, when I knew I had to face another day And the Lord it made me feel so tired Before the day I finally Somebody to So we're gonna walk here in the duty free shop and see what we got going on here. <laughs> oh no, thank you. All right. So of course, duty free shops where you get all of your duty free items. We have to follow you. Everybody knows it's you because they follow your uh, mini backpack around. There we go. Got to get your mini backpack in the video, huh? Yeah. All right. So we'll let Tiffany shop around Cosmel Port here a little bit. She has spotted something. She's moving in. Done, done. <laughs> Tiffany comes into the cruise port. My wallet cries. I hear it whining in my pocket as we speak. First thing I'm going to do is head out of the cruise port. Oh, morning. Because when I come to Cosmel, there's something I need to get. I need to get some caffeine. And the best place to get the caffeine is out of the cruise port. And we're going to get there by going this way. Now you can also come up here and get a taxi. I said, you can come up here, you can get a taxi. But what we're after is just, oh, no scooter today. Thank you. Hey, you doing? Oh, no scooters. Thank you. And then right out the front gate, here we go. So this is probably a really good cruise tip, I think. 
that if you want to get something a little better priced, a little better deal, if you're looking for something specific, leave the port itself. Come outside. Oh, no, thank you. Buy a rinse for $20. Wow, that's cheap. But what I'm looking for is right there. That's XO's. It is a convenience store. And when you need some morning caffeine, that's where you go and get it. All right. We're going to cross the road here while we can. Look both ways when you cross the road here in Mexico. They drive way different than we do. So something to keep in mind. But this is the XO convenience store. Anytime we're at the International Pier, this is where I like to come. And get me some beverages. The ain't are figured. All right, the joys of caffeine. All right, so we're gonna walk down. Now see here is an actual pharmacy outside. I got plenty of that. But then you're really, look, if you need some Viagra, they got Viagra here. You need Viagra, huh? No. You need, uh, apparently you can also get for, uh, anabolic steroids here you can get anything here oh no we're just looking around today thank you though that's why we got a transportation oh, that's you can see the whole island in a couple hours oh that's okay thank you though all right so we're just going to explore down the street here a little bit let's see what we can see excuse me sir why was the scooter Oh, no, thank you. Let's see what we got over here. Any information about the Playa Mia? Oh, no, thank you. And they got the Hard Rock Cafe here. This is right outside the cruise port. So if you don't want to eat at Margaritaville or uh, Senior Frogs, so they do have the Hard Rock Cafe. They got a photo shark up here. If you want a picture with a shark. They got a Carl's Jr. Spa. All right, so we're just continuing our strolling tour of Cozumel, Mexico. Here's where we're gonna do our best not to get run over by a car. But there's actually a crosswalk here and the light is red, so let's go. Here's definitely where we stop, though. All right. Keep on trucking. Another place to eat. Got a bar, some tunes. See, there's a 7-Eleven right there, hon. Look. Yeah. Exos didn't have exactly what we wanted. Oh. Let's go take a look at this. Hun, how about a couple of those? That is a that is a margarita and a serious fishbowl drink. Look at that. What do you think, babe? You want to drink one of those? No, but I found a coffee shop. Oh, but Tiffany found coffee. <laughs> Tiffany found coffee, and I found a what is more than likely a Mayan ruin replica. 
No, thank you. Let me give you some. No, thank you. Don't bring my chicken heart today. Take a look at that. Let's go up here and take a look at this. Morning. So every time we come to Gosmo, we discover something new. I had no idea this was even here. So you can get tequila, and it looks like a, a tequila chocolate. museum. But take a look at this. Have Tiffany get some pictures of that. All right, let's keep on. I'm curious. You want to walk through here? I'm curious. Are you curious? I'm curious. I am curious. So we're going to walk this way. See what's going on back in up in here. They definitely, if you're a fan of tequila, this is looks like the place to come right here. All right, so there was a little museum in there. It was $5 a person to get in. So if you want to check that out, we did not go in, but it is there. I right, got some more shops along. All right, Tiffany is ready to take a look and shop here. In she goes. Get all your Cozumel, Cozumel shirts everywhere. Morning. All right, more shopping. I'm sure you guys feel my pain. But it makes her happy. We'll sit here with her real quick while Tiffany does a little bit of shopping and gets her Gets her hair stuffed together. But she's over there uh, buying hair bands. Oh, hold on. She needs money. Shocker, right, guys? All right, she raided my wallet and off she went. And she got a hair. Do what you get, baby. Put it on your head. It's like a headband. Okay. All right, she got a headband, guys. Yeah. Right there, that is the cruise port for Carnival, where Carnival normally docks. That's it, and they're right next to each other. You can see the whale tail just sticking up over the trees over there. All right, we came back this way, walking back. And look, the drinks now have friends. Got pineapples, coconuts, and look at that thing. That's like a pitcher of drink. <laughs> I drink that. There's more. All right, here's some more. I drink these. Uh, I'm gonna need a, a someone to carry me back to the ship. Look at that. We got another Cosmo sign. You can see Liberty of the Seas there in the background. Another Carnival ship coming in. Too far away for me to tell what she is. Let's see if I can. not to win on her a little bit. Let's see. There she is. The second carnival ship coming in today. So, so far though, it's just one oh, one other carnival ship. And then our ship. Sitting right over there. And so far that's it today. It looks like I mean, it's still early. We could get plenty more ships in here eventually. 
Yeah. See, Tiffany has her name on the side of her hat right there. I gotta keep wearing it. <laughs> so they call her by name. <clears throat> I keep telling her it's because she's famous, but it might just be the name on her hat. All right, so it is the Carnival Breeze that is also in port with us today. And you can see the ecstasy over there. Let's see if I can't just a little bit closer. I don't know if y'all can see or not, but it looks like there's an ambulance over there by the breeze. Let's see. See it right there. Hopefully nothing bad happened. Hopefully everybody's okay. Because that's never a good sign. And I said, you got the breeze. And of course our ship right here. And I guess we're the least for now still, we're the only Royal Caribbean ship here in port today. All right, so we had a first. We're here in Margaritaville in Cozumel. We're gonna have a little bit of lunch. Whoa, watermelon shots. <laughs> Gotta take a look around in here. But Tiffany turned down some fresh guacamole. Can't believe you did that. I can't either, but. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna try out the food in here. We've never had, never been to the margarita before. We went to the. Fat Tuesdays. No, not Fat Tuesdays. Oh, Senior. Senior, senior Frogs. Frogs, there we go. I just could not remember that all of a sudden. But we're gonna have a couple of drinks. I got a Long Island iced tea. Tiffany got a woman to blame. Seems appropriate, right? Oh, it's not too shaky. The table's a little shaky. And now we're gonna see about finding something to eat. How's your drink there, baby? It's gonna get you in trouble. Gonna get you in trouble? Like this, this is what I got here. Blew out my flip flop. Comes in a little souvenir mason jar. The Long Island iced tea. Let's try it. Oh, that's good. That is good. All right, we ordered the volcanic nachos. Yep, it looks like a volcano. Look at the size of the plate of nachos. Look, here's my hand in comparison. I mean, that is a giant plate of nachos. What do you think, baby? Well, get them, let's see how they taste. So we're gonna be busy here eating these nachos. And Tiffany got her guacamole on the side. So, is it good? So another awesome day in Cosmo, Mexico. We always have a blast every single time we come here. I mean, just messing around, shopping around, cruising around outside the cruise port, lunch at Margaritaville. It was great. What'd you think, baby? I liked it. You liked it? Liked All right. It. So now we're going to head back onto the ship, and see what's going on on there.
All right, so now that we're back on the ship, it was a hot day. Time for a little water activity. Swimming, water slides, flow rider. All right, time for a little relaxing time here in the hot tub. Something really good to do when nobody else is on the ship when you're in port. You end up with the hot tub all for yourself. Okay? So it's a good time for relax. All right, so Tiffany here is trying out some new towels. Got some new microfiber towels with some new towel bands instead of towel clips. What do you think, baby? So far, so good. So far, so good? Yeah. So we'll talk more about those later on, see how they do. We're just kind of testing them out right now. Tiffany getting her coffee. Uh, mocha. All right, so Tiffany got her coffee and she got something called a mango dream. That she's over there, she's gonna snack on that. She wasn't sure what it was, but. It's some kind of dessert. It looks moosey. All right, Tiffany is not liking mango. Apparently, it's not a good drink. What is it? It's kind of like a custard, I guess. Like a mango custard? Yeah. I'm not sure about the texture, though. Not sure about the texture. Nope. It is not a dream, it's a nightmare. All right, so we're down here to play some Marvel superhero trivia. It is time to let our inner nerd fly. You ready to let your inner nerd fly? I don't know anything about superheroes. Tiffany says she doesn't know anything about superheroes, so it's all on me. It's all on my nerd. I got this. Washi washi! Hey! Washi washi! Welcome, welcome, everybody! <laughs> Washi washi, thank you, thank So we found a duck. Uh, this one is from Palisoda, Bryan College Station. And you can definitely tell it's from Bryan College Station because it says Gigum Aggies and it's got A&M on the butt and whoop on the front. So we found a duck. All right, everybody. So we are here in the main theater for tonight's headliner show. And this is some kind of like variety acty. Apparently, a little bit of comedy. He plays some instruments. Um, I have to look up this name again, but... El Grupo, El Grappo. El Grappo, something like that. So, we're here to check it out. I think we got some pretty good seats. We're up in the balcony this time. We were down on the floor yesterday, on the main floor. So, we thought we'd try a little balcony seats today. Um, but we got a pretty good seat. So right up here. So I think that should be some pretty good seats. I think so. I mean, so far we've had a really fun day. Um, I will tell you all this though, we lost terribly at trivia. Turned out I was not the biggest nerd in the room for uh, Marvel, trivia. Marvel trivia. I think it was Google. Um, 
And then we did general knowledge trivia and no, we just lost, <laughs> lost terribly. Um, went to the buffet for dinner. It was Asian night, but they didn't have a lot of selection. They honestly didn't. So is what it is. It was still good. Yes. They just didn't have a lot of Asian choices. Um, but tomorrow night's Caribbean night, so I'm looking forward to that one. Meat pies. Meat pies, exactly. And and then we just kind of walked around the ship a little bit, and now we're here in the theater. So now we're just waiting for the show to start. We'll record what we can. Um, but you know, copyright laws, recording in the shows. So I don't record the whole thing, just little bits here and there that I can. So enjoy the show. Washy, washy, happy, happy. All right, we're gonna go this way today. All right, I'm not sure what that announcement is about. What is Alpha, Alpha, Alpha? All right, let's take a look at what they got for breakfast this morning. They got parfaits, eggs, sausage, potatoes, bacon all along here. All right, we got breads, lunch meats, all kinds of interesting stuff. You got your toast station and some chocolate chip sticky buns this morning. You got all of your fresh fruit, your milks, your yogurts. You make your own little parfait. All right, this morning I got some pancakes, some little omelets, potatoes and bacon. And Tiffany got fried egg, parfait, cottage cheese, and she's over there picking the raisins out of her parfait. Don't like raisins. Don't like the raisins? Do your best Rapunzel impression. Got Tiffany doing the Rapunzel impression across there on the balcony. Overlooking the promenade. All right, so we are currently docking here at Grand Caymans or coming to our Anchorage point here in Grand Caymans. You can see it off right over there. We also have the Carnival Vista and the Carnival Sensation already here in port with us today. So we should be about ready to start tender operations here shortly. Hello, 
All righty, so we are on the tender. As you can see, masks are required while on board the tender, right, baby? Yes. And the, in the Caymans. And in the Caymans. Now, I think it's only when you're indoors, like in restaurants, stores, and shops, that you have to have it, but you have to have it both way on the tender as well. But we're on the ship and fixing to head over. All right, so here's our plan for hell real quickly. Oh, stop for us. So we were told we go over here by the public library and then catch the bus, the regular city style bus, and they go over there and it's only $2 a person. So we're gonna take public transportation to hell versus the $28 they wanted to charge us to take a taxi over there and it goes the same spot and there's buses that run all day long. So that's what we're gonna go and try. So our public transportation plan for hell, yeah, that was an utter bust. We thought we'd give it a try. 
and we just drove around in circles basically for an hour and never got anywhere near hell so we just got back off at the cruise port um there's probably a way to do it but we obviously did it very wrong got it wrong our plan i mean we just failed miserably today to get over there so we're back at the cruise port and we're not going to risk missing our last tender or anything to get back on the ship so we're just going to kind of hang out in this area and kind of check out georgetown walk around a little bit and see what we can see around here instead After a while, I 
common sense and a smile. Smile. After a while, I'm sensing a 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 smile, 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 smile.
All right, so we have made it back on board the ship, and we're going to share today's lesson with you guys, give you the whole story about what happened in Grand Caymans today. That way, our mistakes don't have to be anybody else's mistakes. The stuff we screw up can be a success for somebody else. So when we got to the Caymans, we had this plan in our head. We were just going to go out. We were going to grab a taxi on our own, go over to hell, check it out, and then come back. That was really all of our initial you know, plan that we had and should have been no big deal. Granted, the last time we were in the Caymans was 2016. It was six years ago. But when we came here, we simply grabbed a taxi and we went up to Seven Mile Beach. Not a big deal. So we thought it was going to be something similar today. And boy, were we completely wrong in our thinking. And it did not work out any way that we thought it would. And I said, this, this is on us. We should have planned better. We should have thought better. We should have had a backup plan. So that's, that's going to be our big tip is make sure you know what you're going to do. You've researched it. You've confirmed it. You know exactly what's going to happen. Now, we did look at ship excursions to see if there were any shore excursions through the ship. But none of them specifically said they went to hell. There were some island tours, some beach tours and stuff like that. But none of them actually said, we're going to hell. And that's where we really wanted to go. That's what we said. We just, you know, do it on our own. We'll catch a cab. So we got off the ship. We went over to the taxis. We said, hey, we want to go to hell. And she's like, okay, it's going to be $14 each. Okay, well, that's not too, too bad. And then she's like, but you have to have a minimum of four people. I said, well, there's only two of us. We don't have anybody else with us here right now that wants to go. You know, it's just the two of us. And she said, well, then the only way we're going to take you is you have to pay for all four people. So now instead of being $14 a piece, which would have been $28, now they wanted $56 in order to just to take us up to hell. And we were like, yeah, no, 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 no. We're not paying for extra people and all this kind of stuff. You know, last time we we're here, we just grabbed a cab and we go. Nope, you have to have a minimum of four people, four people, four people. That's all she said. And there was nobody around us that, you know, was wanting to go to hell. That was just doing their own thing either. So we left and decided not to take the taxi. Well, one of the other local tour guides that was there said, hey, all you got to do is go over here and get on the public bus, which was across the street from the cruise port up by the library, get on the public transportation, tell them you want to go to hell. They'll go there. It's only $2 a person per trip. Well, oh, that's a good idea. It's real cheap. You know, and of course it's a bus. So, you know, it's going to take a little bit longer to get there. We expected that. So we got on board. We said, hey, we're going to hell. He said, no problem. 45 minutes we rode around this island people getting on people getting off and when the 45 minutes was over guess what we were not in hell we were right back where we started we we're like dude what happened thought we were going to hell he just kind of shrugged yeah so yeah public transportation the the public bus Sounded like a good idea. And don't worry, they don't have like any kind of weird specific route. I think they just kind of do their own thing. They drive around. They just drop you off in random spots. It, it, it's not scheduled, I guess, like a city bus would be or what we're used to in the United States. But that's going to be our lesson for you. Have, have a better plan than us because we pretty much screwed up our entire trip to the Cayman Islands over not being able to do something as simple as get to hell and take a look. I mean, all we want to do is go to hell. And we couldn't do it. So it didn't happen. So we, we came back. There was only a few hours left. Didn't want to risk trying any other ways or anything like that. Because, you know, you missed that last tender here. You can be in trouble. You missed the ship. Something like that. So we didn't do it. We just kind of looked around the city a little bit. Came around, toured around in the cruise port, and then we came on board the ship. So, it's going to be our hard-learned cruise tip for everybody out there today. Make sure you know before you go. And you know, and I've said it before, and 
I thought our past knowledge and our past experience was going to be enough, and it was not. Absolutely was not. So I said, we we screw up too. No matter how many cruises we go on, no matter how many cruise ports we go to, we still screw things up every once in a while. This is a great example of a complete and utter screw up that completely messed up every plan we had for today. So if nothing else, please learn from our being dumb, our lack of planning, our lack of paying attention like we tell everybody else to do. It does happen to us every once in a while, and today's a really, really great example of that. But we are back on board the ship. As you can see, we went and had a little lunch, went down and played a little Star Wars trivia. I lost by one point. One point. We have not won a single trivia game on this cruise yet. We are not batting 100 on this particular cruise. We're having a good time. D don't get me wrong. <laughs> We're having fun, but boy, we're not winning. We are not winning this particular cruise. But we got other activities. There is a big show tonight. Uh, what is it? Saturday Night Fever is a Broadway production show. We're going to take a look at that here in just a couple hours. But I think for now, we're just going to kind of relax, chill out until dinner time, maybe take some pictures, just enjoy the beautiful blue water here in Grand Caymans. And we'll catch up with everybody here later on. It is Caribbean night in the main dining, in the buffet tonight. Caribbean night, so we're gonna go eat some Caribbean food and check it out. Thank you for coming. <laughs> washi washi? Washi, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Come on. All right, so I got Jamaican meat pies. Uh, peas and rice. Beans and rice. It's peas and rice. What's that one again, baby? A fritter, right? A fried fritter? Something like that, yeah. Something like that. Some bread. Tiffany got chicken and fish and goat. Oh, and some goat. So it is Caribbean night. So we're snacking on all kinds of Caribbean favorites. Got Tiffany looking for cupcake recipes here. At the cupcake cupboard. You finding any good ones? I found a red velvet one. Found a red velvet one? all right so we came in the room tonight and look at this we have a monkey hanging from the ceiling so we didn't have a towel animal last night but we do have a monkey tonight
Here's some taxi service information here from Falmouth. Kind of letting you know that. Ta some more taxi service information. A little bit of shuttle ser service information. Show you guys the rate sheet here. All right, so that's where you get your Caribbean meat pies right there. And then right across from it is where you get your 100% Jamaican Blue Mountain coffee.
All right, Tiffany has found the Jamaican Blue Mountain Coffee Store. So in we go. She's gonna come in here and look and see if she can find the coffee she wants. All right, headed back to the ship. So what do you think, baby? Did you have a fun time in Jamaica today? I did have a fun time. Got some Jamaican coffee, got to ride horses, play in the water. It was good. So if we did all that there, are they gonna make us move here? No, we shouldn't have to. But we're probably gonna have to scan back on the ship. Thank you, Christopher. Thank you. All right, so I just happened to be roaming up here on deck 13 in the miniature golf course and take a look. We have found ourselves a little duck. So we will go give this to Tiffany. That way she can read it and say where it's from. All right, so found another cruise duck here at the entrance into one of the kids clubs. So we're going to go ahead and collect that one as well. Whoops. <clears throat> collect that one as well and take that back to Tiffany. So Chris found a couple ducks and of course it has the Oh What Luck You Found a Duck and the Facebook page, but they're from the Hollands in Nawat, Colorado. 
All right, ducks from Colorado. And there's actually two of them, but they are the exact same duck. We got the other one right here. Yeah. So there are two of them. They are from the same folks. So in good proper ducking tradition, we're going to keep one and then we're going to rehide one. That way someone else can find the joy of finding a duck. Where do you think you're going to hide it? I'm not sure yet. All right. Well, listen, we're going to go get some breakfast and hide a duck. So Tiffany's going to town over there on her parfait. How's your parfait, baby? It's good. She's got her parfait, her coffee. I really need to learn how to make this home. Isn't it pretty much just yogurt, some fruit stuff, and some basically granola on the top? Yes, but how do they get the fruit stuff free? I don't know. I'm sure you can Google how to make a parfait. But if you ask, they'll probably just tell you. If you notice that the make your own parfait, it's just chopped up fruit. Right. That is not chopped up fruit on the bottom of it. All right, and our morning lesson on the parfait. <laughs> We're looking for two things. What are we looking for? Style and grace. Here we go in three, two, one, four. Oh, yeah. Not bad, not bad. There's some water activities. Tiffany's over there. Relaxing in a chair. Hi, baby. Uh, here in the solarium pool. Get a red chair. Yeah, they got chairs right in the pool, so you just got to sit here. Relax. Uh, see you again. <laughs> All right, so we're in the scooter bar having the drink of the day, the blue wave. Tiffany's going to sample the blue wave for us. Are we getting a thumbs up? Or are we getting a thumbs down? Oh, we got a thumbs <laughs> up for the blue wave. Yes, yes. All right, so the blue wave is Tiffany recommended. So if you guys order one and it tastes real bad, remember it was Tiffany who recommended it. <laughs> All right, so we are heading to Johnny Rockets for dinner. It's gonna be noisy because we're gonna cut through the arcade and get as much air conditioner as possible, but we're off to Johnny Rockets. All right, quick look at Johnny Rockets menu here. You got starters inside, you got your fries, onion rings, cheese fries, chili cheese fries. You got your sandwiches, you got your burgers. Got your milkshakes all the way down here. To your dessert, you have a super sundae and an apple pie. So what do you think you're gonna get today? Can't decide on the smoked house or the original. Smoked house or the original. I think I'm gonna go with the number 12 with some chili cheese fries. I think I'm gonna go with the smoked house. Small house, okay. Oh, yeah. 
All right, to start off here, we have a chocolate shake and an Oreo shake. If you're gonna go to Johnny Rockets, you gotta have a milkshake. Mm -hmm. So Tiffany's gonna taste test for us. Cause you know, about 10 minutes. she is our official taste tester, but apparently they are thick and it's gonna take a minute to get milkshake actually up the straw. Did you finally get some? Just a little bit? A little bit, but it's thick. All right, round two is here. Tiffany's got some chili cheese fries. Yeah. I'm sorry. Tiffany got bacon cheese fries. I got the chili cheese fries. I knew there were some chili cheese fries somewhere. Oh, and the burgers are here. Oh, perfect. Anything else for you at this time? Um, perfect. Thank you. All right, so we got burgers, we got fries, we got shakes. It's time to eat. It's time to eat. All right. Now, Tiffany has noted something that I missed here on the cabin uh, decks. So she's going to explain it to you real quickly. So I did notice that the carpet colors change. So on the port side of the ship, you have red or orange carpet. Uh, that way, if you're on the port side, you know that red carpet. And then on the starboard side, there's blue carpet. I thought that was pretty neat because I get lost when I'm by myself. So there you go. So if you have a starboard side room or the right side of the ship, you're going to look for the blue carpet and that lets you know what side of the ship you're on and then if you are on the port side or the left side of the ship when you get off of the elevator or you're coming up and down the stairs you look for the orange carpet so kind of remember your color and that'll let you know which side of the ship your room is on because Tiffany is notorious for coming down the stairs and going the wrong way and stuff like that until she noticed the carpet so Tiffany saw that, Tiffany found that. So that's another tip from Tiffany. So pay attention to your carpet. Pay attention to the color of your carpet. So when she answered the question, was she smiling or was she smiling? Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Let's take a dance of this. Toy Story. What do you think your wife said? Mm -hmm. Describe your love life using a movie title, mm -hmm. The Fast and the Furious, Toy Story, A Series of Unfortunate <laughs> Events, or Gone with the Wind. Well, again, after 54 years, there have probably been different episodes. <laughs> I know. Um, I'll go with Toy Story. <laughs> All right, so we came in the room tonight and we have another towel animal. Tonight we have an octopus. Now we have not gotten a towel animal every night. It's been like every other night. So we have our octopus, still have our monkey hanging up over there. And we still have our first towel animal relaxing over here on the couch. So that's three so far. 
But you get dance? Huh? No, I was getting out of their way because we did what we don't like. We oh. <laughs> stopped in front. I like the character. I would think you did all. I know. I wanted it to be. So you just left. So I bought a shirt and stick. What's her sound? Morning. Morning. So we are in the casino for our second attempt at the slots tournament today. We got knocked out in the first round last time. So we're gonna try again today and see if we can do better. Tiffany's gonna be the big winner today, right, baby? All yeah. right, Tiffany's going all the way. I'm gonna try for round two. All right, so after round one, Tiffany is still in it. She does move on to the next round so far. She's in like sixth or seventh place. Me, nope, got knocked out in the very first round so far. Uh, but Tiffany is still in it, so we still got hope told her she needs to win the $500. We need gas money to get home. Right, baby? Yes. So it's all on you. Alright, well, Tiffany got knocked out of the slots tournament now as well. You know what that means, right, baby? We're walking home? We have to walk home. <laughs> Spent all our money on the cruise. You didn't win us gas money. But we have one more chance. I think we're going to go play some bingo. So Tiffany has a road to redemption. <laughs> okay. Remember, bingo. It's your, it's our chance. Yes. All right. Yes. All right. We don't want to have to walk home. No. It's a long walk. That's a long walk. All right. So, we're gonna go buy some bingo tickets, and I think we're gonna play some bingo this afternoon. All right. So it was buy two get one free on bingo. So we have bingo messes everywhere here now. Tiffany, you got a lot of stopping to do here. <laughs> I mean, Tiffany went crazy. Look at this. What'd you do, baby? I was sitting here reading my book. <laughs> Did not win the first round, baby. No. All right. I so got $5 now, of gas money, though. That's true. You did get $5 on your scratch off. Yeah. All right. So now we're on the orange cards here. Look at this mess. Stuff is everywhere. I'm not let tip, letting Tiffany pick bingo cards ever again. She's got a bingo disaster here. Alrighty, so we have decided tonight that we are going to do something that we have never done before on a cruise. Never, ever have we done this before, but tonight we're going to do it, and we're going to order room service. Oh, believe it or not, it is the first time for us. We've never, ever done it before. So tonight on Royal Caribbean's Liberty of the Seas, we're going to order and we're going to test the room service. We're going to see how good the food is. How long it takes to get here? Is it still hot? Is it cold? And is it worth it? Because room service has a fee here of $7.95 plus an 18% gratuity added on top of that. So is it worth it to order room service into your room versus simply walking down the hallway to say the buffet or the main dining room? It is kind of a question we've had for a while. And I know Tiffany back there has hinted in at an interest in ordering room service in the past, so today we're gonna test it. So first, I'm gonna show you guys the menu so we can see what our options are. All right, so here is the room service menu. Now we are doing this in the evening, so we are looking at the all day menu here. You have your appetizers and your salads, so you can get chicken noodle soup, tomato soup, chopped cob salad, Greek salad, Caesar salad, or chicken tenders. Then you can get sandwiches. Now all of these are served with fries. 
You can get a burger, a grilled cheese, hot dog, Philly cheesesteak. Then over here you can get see some rigatoni, grilled salmon, grilled quesadilla, a freshly baked cheese or pepperoni pizza. You can get uh, hot wings. Then they have a kids menu of grilled cheese, PB and J. You have your sides, French fries, side salad, potato chips. Your desserts, you can get cheesecake, chocolate cake, chocolate chip cookies, or a seasonal fruit plate. And it lets you know that room service for this particular menu is served from 11 a.m. until 6 a.m. And then right there, it does talk about the fee of $7.95 per room with an 18% gratuity added to your check. All right, so there is the menu for room service that's available here on Liberty of the Seas. So said, we're gonna go ahead and place our order, then we're gonna start the timer and see how long it takes before it gets here. All right, so Tiffany is placing the order. First, first fun challenge here is getting them to answer the phone. Hi, um, I'd like to get uh, an order. So they were talking about they're going to charge for your sodas. Of course. And uh, $9 for the room service fee. And then it's going to be 45 minutes. 45 minutes. Yes. So it is currently 447. So we should see it here by 535 is the estimation. So 45 minutes. 535 is the approximate time that it should be here according to them. Now, I knew they were going to charge me extra for the soda because I'm not going down to the bar or anything like that. I just want them to send it up here because we just want to see how good it is if we just don't leave our room. That's part of the whole test. Now, they quoted, how much did they quote you? It was $9 and some change. $9 and some change. So that's the $7.95 plus the 18% gratuity. One thing we've noticed, particularly on this cruise, is like even when we went up to Johnny Rockets, they give you the price including the gratuity already built in. So they don't tell you that it's, you know, 7.95 plus 18%. They just give you how much it's going to be with the 18% already into it. So yeah, if you go to one of the specialty restaurants or you order room service or you go to Johnny Rockets, at least what we've seen here on the last two World Caribbean cruises is they just give you the price that it's gonna be including the gratuity so that you don't see two different numbers. So you may look at the menu and it says 7.95 and they're gonna tell you it's $9 and some change. That's what the difference is between those two. All right, so now we're gonna wait the 45 minutes or however long it does take and we'll get back with you once the food arrives. Alrighty, so the room service arrived. Now, as far as time goes, they were actually about 10 to 15 minutes earlier than anticipated. They quoted about 45 minutes. They got it here in about 35 minutes. So let's take a quick look here. I think Tiffany's gonna come over here and assist and show everything so we can take a look at the quality of the food. We have salad. Okay, so we have a Cobb salad. Of course, the ginger ales that we ordered. Dessert. Oh, piece of cheesecake. With strawberry With some strawberries there. right there. That's what the next one is too. Okay, you just wanna set those over there. Then we have chicken tenders there we go chicken tenders fries and honey mustard sauce quesadillas quesadillas with guacamole sour cream pico de gallo oh nice and finally and then a pepperoni pizza all right so for room service i mean the food looks really really good smells good smells good was really quick getting here. So we're gonna eat and then we'll tell you guys how it was. All right, room service been arrived, it's been eaten, and now we're ready to give our final thoughts and our final opinions on it. So the first one, was it worth it? Yes. I completely agree with that. Our food was all hot, it all tasted fresh, it arrived earlier than they said it was going to, now there was one, just one, 
little snafu in our entire room service experience. He forgot to bring us silverware. And so he came in, put the food down, he left, and then Tiffany noticed, uh-oh, we have no silverware to eat the food with. <laughs> so she did have to run down to the promenade, grab some forks. But other than that, the, I said the food was good. I said the room service menu is not super extensive. There's not a bunch of different items on it, but what we got at least was hot, it was fresh, it was tasty, it was as advertised, it was quick, and it was filling. So this is probably not going to be the last time we do room service. No. I mean, after a full week of cruising, a bunch of activities, tons of running around, a nice quiet evening in the cabin really hit the spot and so yep we're gonna give room service a thumbs up here on liberty of the seas they did a great job <clears throat> said a little silverware problem but yeah easily solved by just going down and getting a fork so what wasn't a big deal to us anyway now unfortunately does come that part of the cruise that is not my favorite <laughs> Not my favorite at all because it means the end is coming. We got to do a little bit of packing. So we're going to get do a little bit of packing and we'll catch up with you guys here in a little while. All right, the sure-fired sign that the cruise is almost over. Luggage is back out in the hallway. So you definitely know it is the last night. I'll never give you up this Just kiss me slow, your heart is sore. Tiffany's up here waiting for her morning coffee. You getting some coffee, baby? Yeah. <laughs> All right, good morning, everybody. It is disembarkation day. That bittersweet day where you don't want to get off the cruise ship, but at the same time... You're ready to go home. You're ready to go home. So, how was your cruise this week? It was awesome. It was awesome. Are you ready to go home? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's the thing about cruising. You don't want to go back, but at the same time, you're starting to think about your bed and the comforts of your home and... Your puppies and your puppies and all on all that kind of good stuff but unfortunately it does lead to the inevitable horrible awful 
question that seems to come every single day when you're not on a cruise. What are you going for dinner? <laughs> and what's your response? <laughs> I don't know. What do you want for dinner? <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Back to the real world. All right, so we are in group two to disembark today. We should be disembarking around 730 which is pretty good. My understanding is that the bridge, and there's only one big one, leading out of Galveston is closed down to one lane because they found a crack in the bridge. So we may have some traffic getting out of here, but it's it's not a huge bridge. And it is Sunday morning, so hopefully that will make a huge difference. We'll still be able to get out of here pretty quick. But it's about, oh, let's see, 6.50 now. So we should be getting off the ship here in the next 30 minutes or so, 40 minutes or so. And then we'll start, and then we're going to start heading home. All righty, it is time to leave the room. Y'all ready to go? Yes. One last look at our cabin here real quickly. One last look. Everything's packed up. Ignore the, uh, the dishes there. They haven't cleaned the room yet. Say goodbye to our towel animal friends. And it is time to go. out the door with the luggage is always the funnest part. My luggage weighs more now than it did when we got on the ship. I think Tiffany's been putting stuff in my luggage. I have all of her goodies and souvenirs and 18 bottles of water she didn't finish drinking. So we have officially disembarked. It took about an hour and a half to get off of the ship and actually to our vehicle. Customs was the super easy part. Disembarkation would have been easier if people, of course, would follow any of the instructions, but they naturally tried to crowd, rush, push, shove. I mean, to the point where there was actually where we thought it was gonna come to a physical altercation of people in line. I mean, they were yelling, screaming, threatening. It, it was getting bad all over. You know, people start to line up to disembark the ship and then, you know, other people come out and they just want to stand right there by the door. They don't want to get in the line. They try to cut in front of everybody and it, it got heated this morning. It, it really, really did. Um, thought it was going to come to blows there. It did not, but it acted like it was going to there for a minute. But we are officially off of the ship. We are headed home. So I want to thank everybody that's followed along with us this week on our sailing on, on board Liberty of the Seas. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like always, if you did, hit that thumbs up button for us. Have yourself a great day. And we will see you out on the high seas next time.